I have a lot of other cool co-hosts with me. We got D-Dub running Ground Zero Calgary from now on. All you Ground Zero battlers, get acquainted with this dude. He'll get you into King of the Dog. Did you guys just make noise there? I couldn't tell. Yeah. Yeah. ROB, Obnoxious Limited, Nox. keep the gear. <laughs> www.obnoxiouslimited.com. Artical, Artical Clothing. Yeah. Yeah. Dizzy D here, I mean, everybody's doing it big. Shout out Artical Clothing, Burn Cron, Obnoxious Limited, everybody doing it big. Mike Wells Photography, Ambi Dexter's doing the music all day. Hi, Mike. Uh, 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 everybody, good giant star records. They're the <laughs> shit. Crumbs, doctors. Hit up crumbs. Make some noise for crumbs. Yeah. You guys need studio time in the city or whatever. You want someone to record and do your shit? Crumbs is the man to talk to. He's a very dope dude to do business with. Talk to him. Uh, with no further ado, rapper to my right, introduce yourself. Yo, it's Neckbone Man, aka the Chief of the Dot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? They call me DBS, repping the uh, Hip Hop Junkies, Obnoxious Limited. This is my house. I'm gonna take this guy out like Amy Winehouse. Hey, yo, this battle is for $400. 200 each put on the line. Yeah. 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 A lot of you guys have to do with this, you know what I mean? You guys are putting yeah. money, you make sure put on fair. So you guys are just as much a part of this as the battlers themselves. So make sure you show these guys out. All right. We already did the coin toss. It is 90 seconds on neck bone whenever he's ready. Everybody, please hold it down. I promise you, hilarious. It's the chief of the dot versus devious, Mr. Dangerously Vicious Style. Fucking guy so much of a pedophile, we should call him dangerous with a child. <laughs> Whether it's a written or a freestyle, I'll defeat you with a mean smile. See, I'm the native dream child. I can be seen for three miles. I'm six foot six up in this bitch. 330 pounds, this chug's a monster. And I'm sorry there, old timer, but your time's up now. You're a goner. I'll treat this man just like a woman. Watch Nick Bone just put it on her. And I'm a native fucking supremacist. You can call me blood and honor. <laughs> Judges, I am better than this man. Sketch. You know, I gotta win. I will mount him. I will fuck him. Literally, I'll be on top of him. Give me a shot of Jack, a shot of rum, 12 beer and a lot of gin, and watch me powwow dance on water with steel toed moccasins. <laughs> Y'all should change your name of your crew to the Hillbilly Goof Troop. Oh. And I'm gonna end this by saying, your mom's a loose cunt bitch. She's got a great big vibrator, she's gotta start like this. of the fit to get by and live check to check but as soon as you're not able to stand me neck to neck I turn the tables like Ambi deck to deck tech to tech don't blink because you're gonna see this banger correct as soon as this guy heard about our battle he went by UFC trainer for connect <laughs> see I got native in my blood and I ain't committing treason but saying that you're gonna punch me in my face for dissing natives when I should hit you for the same reason what you can talk shit because your native content is higher than me when n bombs or when city was out here dropping n bombs and that dude is whiter than me <laughs> see I'm not gonna pretend that my mouth isn't filled with filthy nonsense but if you got offended over what I said, then you got a guilty conscience. Ooh. See, the thoughts that I got are razor sharp. Your win over city didn't raise the bar, but for some reason, here we are. And it's not because you're dope and you're gonna make it really far. Because I wanted to take it to your face, I'm like a faggot you really are. Oh. Don't you guys remember how Reckless said that I'm molesting my kids? Well, that's about as low as it gets. So that means I'm not a racist when I say shit, I just call it how it is. See, one swift kick is gonna fold the subordinate like a contortionist. Rhyme scheme so unfortunate, throwing them slow ass punches with no coordinates when my hooks will cut your life short. Abortionist. Oh! See, this is a knee town. Your friends ain't the judges helping you. Come on, let's see what you got. This is Calgary, bud. Let me welcome you to the home of the king of the dot. 
And believe it or not, you ain't gonna bring the spider whether you bring it or not. Call him something cheap with a dot. Well, when the chief filled with the heat what I brought, I'm gonna leave the chief in his spot, breathing or not. Round two, neck bone. I love that name, it's hilarious. I noticed your wife's aboriginal. And my wife's a down ass squaw. I got a thousand dollars on my wife that she breaks your wife's jaw. <laughs> See, that's how real natives do. Homie, we keep it raw. Your woman married a white man. It's evident she went soft. <laughs> I actually seen pictures of your wife, and I think it's absolutely sickening. The way you degrade your private parts by what you stick your fucking dick in. <laughs> if I were you, I'd chop that bitch into pieces. A plastic bag I didn't stick up. Rip that shit open in front of pigs and call myself Robert Picton! Oh. How'd you hook up with her anyways? Let me guess, you had some crack, you made an offering. A couple minutes later, you're in a back alley, fucking on some old dirty box spring. Nine months later, a kid pops up. You officially have native offspring? You think I could dis aboriginals all I want now? This shit is so awesome! <laughs> Don't be proud of your life, buddy. And I ain't trying to be funny. White folks and natives don't mix. That's why your kids are so ugly. And if you, if, you think, if you think I'm taking it too far and I'm trying to wreck your pride, then let's do it, bitch. We can fucking step outside. I will beat the shit out of you, devious. I'll smash this senile old bitch and knock the fucking teeth out of these faggots you roll with. Are you not a mortal man? Devious, I am something much greater. And if you all call the little white man God, then I'm the fucking creator. Now I'm the only one to have tried this. Battle my way through the whole KOTD tribe click. And since I'm the only one to survive it, I ain't gonna quit till I got the chief's head on the stick on some Lords of the Fly shit. Ooh. See the punchlines that you fucking speak and throw are weak and slow. I'ma hit you with the devious lead to Steven Blow to let these people know I'm sending your ass back to kick your no know, bleeding and broke. Ooh. See, I hear the best native jokes from my native cousins. But if I say them, then I'm a racist for saying something. But nobody asked me if I was a native and I didn't say that I wasn't. See, I'm gonna show my native side when I drink some rye, I'll beat this guy and start the white genocide. Woo! Oh! Native oh! pride. Oh! <laughs> See, it's like my mind's filled with crazy apathy. Like driving around with a dead baby in my back seat. And no matter what you think you, you may, uh, no matter what you think you may be happening, oh. Yeah. You ain't gonna win no matter what you think may be happening. Face it is practically a more amazing tragedy than Casey Anthony. Ooh. This guy's not a fucking hard as fuck. He portrays a uh, this fucker ain't hard. He portrays a soldier, a hood dweller. But I got you ducking bars like Ray Liotta and Goodfellas. See, I hope my lyrics touch you like your drunken uncle did. I hope they slice and cut you for being such a bitch. I hope on the way home, your car hits a ditch and it double flips. And I hope today, you bet your rent money and you go back to sorkin' sucking dicks, you fucking prick. See, I ain't identical twin sister to this fucker met her. He tried to fucking hurt and molest her. So when I heard she was pregnant, I both fucked that bitch in her third trimester. Oh. <laughs> Time, round three, neck bone. Yo, 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 yo. How many times did this guy choke? About ten times, you've seen it. Yep. He stuck his finger down his throat and gagged. Call him a bulimic. <laughs> you should be better at spitting rhymes now. You've been around the music for some time now. This dude was 28 years old when Rapper's Delight first hit the vinyl. <laughs> but even then, you didn't like it. You really pushed to censor music. Because in his racist, bigot head, it was all just... N-word music. <laughs> Explain to the people why you went to jail, the white. Tell them why you had to do a bit. And if you ask them, the white, what you did, he'd be like, oh, I did a kid. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, faggot. Oh shit. When I use the word faggot, I hope the homosexuals at home do not lose it. For I am not homophobic. This guy will suck my dick just to prove it. <laughs> God damn, I'm on fire! <laughs> and native y'all can admire! 
Underneath this man's attire, he's probably wearing a wire. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> You'll never fully understand what it's like to murder opponents with battle raps, with battle axes. Just like I will never fully comprehend what it's like to pay taxes. <laughs> I'll treat you with less respect than a white girl in an A cup. I just beat this man. I defeated him. Left his ego bruised and broken. I owned him. It's official. And the chief has spoken. Uh, <laughs> you know when a white shot hit this fucker to the ground? And like a true native, my wife will kick you while you're down. <laughs> See, I'm like the KOTD stepping stone. If you lose to me, then your rep is gone. But if you beat me, then you can bet it's on, but it ain't gonna be easy, cause I'm stepping strong. Weapons drone. Shut your fucking mouth up while there's veterans on. Little kids can cover your ears because this session's grown. You think you're gonna come here and show disrespect? Now I'ma have to put this grown bitch in check. Chop his throat, kick his chest, clap his lungs like he smokes cigarettes. I guess you could say I got a bone to pick with neck. See, I'm known for getting vexed. You're just known for spitting threats. It's like putting a buffalo against the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Since <laughs> like Max Prime, Joe Thriz, and City, I guess I'm your only contender. The real deal to this phony ass pretender. I spit August heat while well, you're still cold in December. The, the creation, the inventor. The student to the mentor. My sketch to your bender. Nice. So you called me out and asked to fight. Now this fucking battle's getting more dislikes than the passion of Christ. But losing to a piece of shit isn't happening twice. Lose to a true native stereotype. Isn't that right? Travis White? Oh. <clears throat> this motherfucker asked him to bet. He said, let's do a white swap. But I can't do a wife swap because if his wife got this white cock, she'd want to call me Nighthawk. Oh. Besides, she looks kind of young, she might talk. Chris Hansen's NBC Dateline, tonight watch it. Oh. 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 Go ahead and ask your mother if she's got any white inside of her. You may not get the answer you desire. Because if that bitch says no, I'll fucking rape her just to make her a liar. Time! Make some noise, guys! Welcome back to King of the Dot Calgary. If you thought that was a hot battle, make some noise. It was a very close battle. All the judges agreed. However, the winner by unanimous decision. Outrageous to try Can I get my right full taste of the pie? I mean, face it, you're fried Like this plays that thick metal bracelet And it's chained to the grind That's the wrong game to play with the life Keep that fantasy dream packaged in a pipe Till the day that you die Sluggish as a salamander in the snow